Hello everyone and welcome to a very quick video on formula book. Last time I created a video on Arun Sharma's book and a lot of people were asking regarding this formula book that I mentioned there. So in this video I am going to share how you can create this book and use it to its max. And don't worry if you have already created this book, this video still contains some useful tips for everyone who is watching. So let's get started. So what is a formula book? Essentially, it is something that is going to save you time because you don't have to revise your entire syllabus. It contains three important things, concepts, formulas and tricks. Concepts basically mean knowledge that you need to uh, be able to solve a particular question. For example, let's say geometry may you have these triangles and ki different properties hoti hai. then you have a lot of uh, figures and geometry that you need to be aware about. So all these things is what comes under concepts. Formulas are self-explanatory, anything that you find in core concepts which is a formula which can be used directly in a question or indirectly. Tricks are the most important component of your formula book. Trick means any shortcut that you come across which helps you solve the question in a quicker manner. Okay, now what all do you need to make this formula book? You can use any self-prep books, any coaching material, any mocks or sectional test, wherever you find a question, a formula, a trick, you note it down. Now, how do you create a formula book? So, first of all, you use the core concepts. Here, you are going to find the formulas and the concepts mostly. And in regards to the tricks, they are going to be found mostly in the question material that you have. It could be anywhere, but it is mostly in the solutions and analysis. Just two important tips to share here. First of all, keep some blank spaces after each chapter when you create this formula book because you might come across more formulas during your mocks. Secondly, make sure that your formula book is of a manageable size. Please don't uh, keep adding tricks and formulas. It will become too cumbersome for you to be able to revise it. Which, by the way, you should be doing on the weekends as well as before taking the mocks. If you want to look at my formula book, I've shared it in the description box. You can check it as a reference. But a question that is asked, please don't copy it entirely. Otherwise, you'll not be able to apply it during the exam. It doesn't work that way. Okay, there's another tip. Uh, basically a book which you can create if you've already created a formula book. This book is called a golden book. So basically it contains, let's say tables, factorials, some prime numbers, anything that helps you with your calculation or your mental speed, which you can revise whenever you feel like you have some free time available. You can still copy this if you want one for reference. I've shared mine in the description box. So this was about the formula book. If you've already created a formula book or a golden book, let me know in the comments below. And if you need to read more about quants, then do visit the category of the blog. I'll also share the link here as well as in the description box. You can check it out. Thank you for watching the video guys. Let's meet the next time with another one.